Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you guys have enjoyed the holidays. It is the start of a new year, and uh, it's hopefully going to be a good one. I'm not going to say anything else but that. But uh, let's, uh, with the start of the new year, there's lots of uh, traditions and superstitions and uh, um, cool things that might come along with the new year. I know typically every year we do a um, first year hike. So we go to a state park and take a hike. We're definitely doing that this year. I'm not currently there. This is being filmed ahead of time, obviously. But uh, yeah, we're totally going to be um, at a state park for for um, the the new year. And you'll be seeing more about that in the next coming week, in the upcoming weeks. So uh, stay tuned. We'll be on the lookout for a new review. So uh, yeah, so let's talk about these um uh, traditions around food and uh, superstitions, right? So everybody probably has their own about you have to have, you have to eat this um, to bring good luck for the new year. And uh, we kind of do the same thing. We, we kind of follow along with it. Um, some of the things that we have on the menu are liked more by others <laughs> than some. But yeah, this is hopefully going to be a very simple recipe. So if you were partying hardy last night and you need something simple and easy, this is definitely it. And uh, it's going to be tasty. It's cold outside, at least where we are right now. It is. It's it's too cold for me. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it when it's this cold. So this is going to be something that will definitely warm, warm me up, fill my belly, and uh, it's going to be tasty. So uh, one of our traditions is typically to eat black eyed peas, um, cornbread, some greens, um, what else? Some type of meat, um, pork, or some, uh, some do fish. Um, this time I'm doing, um, a sausage. And, uh, what else? What am I, am I missing? Uh, some people do carrots. So again, some of these are, they're deep rooted traditions. Um, they're supposed to bring prosperity, good luck money maybe perhaps to your to um, the upcoming year uh so yeah that's it let's get to it let's get cooking we're going to be making a black eye peed soup with uh lots of other ingredients in it too so let's get there all right so i started off melting a couple of tablespoons of uh, butter i'm just going to add a mixture of some carrots onions and celery diced. I bought the combo so I wouldn't have to do all that dicing myself. Let's make uh, the new year a little bit more sim simplistic, right? So we have more time, less time chopping, more time being with family, doing your exercises, whatever you want to do for yourself, right? So I'm just going to um, kind of let these cook down a little bit. You know saute them up make them soften a little bit the onions at least and then I'm gonna add in the rest of my ingredients all right so you can see that these onions are starting to turn a little translucent and so I'm just going to go ahead and add the rest of my ingredients. The uh, celery and the carrots will soften up as it cooks. But um, the first thing I'm going to add is some black eyed peas. Right, the main ingredient. Now if you prefer to use dried, go right ahead. That was my plan. Only to find my dried peas literally all over my floor. Uh, apparently... <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the children knocked them off the counter and uh, they were scattered so all over the floor <laughs> I'm, I'll probably be finding peas for a while um, you know how they, they like to hide um, so here are the peas and I'm gonna add um, some just some veggie all just to give it another little round of um, vegetables a few more vegetables um, Main Squeeze Sam's not a fan of Black Eyed Peas. I'm hoping that if I add enough other stuff, maybe he'll eat it. I'm not so sure. Um, and then I'm also going to add um, some collard greens. Here's my greens. 
So I've got carrots. That's supposed to be good luck, like gold coins. Collard greens is like money, prosperity. There. Of course, we've got the black eyed peas. Let's see. It's actually looking pretty good. And I'm also going to add um, some kielbasa. There's my sausage. So make a great, um, of course, kielbasa makes a great gumbo. Um, maybe I'll have to do that sometime. I haven't had gumbo in forever. Um, just to add a little bit of sausage and now I'm gonna add some broth to, you know, make it more, more of a soup instead of a stew. This is just chicken broth. And I'm gonna just let this cook. Summer, do its thing for a couple of hours. I might end up adding some more greens. I'm gonna look and see what I think. Oh, and I need to add some seasoning. All right, got some seasoning here. You can use whatever your favorite seasoning is. Right now, I'm just using the adobo. Typically that one is well received by all members of the family, as long as they don't read that it actually has pepper in it. Shh, it's our secret, right? Okay. So now I'm just gonna let this cook, simmer, meld, and do its thing for the next couple of hours. This is looking good. It smells really yummy. It's gonna be time to eat it soon. All right, so the soup is now done. Here it is in all of its glory. See those black eyed peas? It's hot. That's tasty. Here's some of that sausage. It's hot. It's really, really hot though. Here's that sausage. Mmm. Mmm. This is good. Perfect. The greens just blend in nicely so they're not like overpowering all right and so to go with it I made some cornbread I've got some butter on it and of course that is also delish but all in all a really good New Year's Day meal so I go I hope you guys enjoyed this video I um, I hope this new year is going to be treating you well. I, I wish you many, many good wishes, and I hope that you can meet all your resolutions that you might uh, decide to attempt to do for the following year. But don't hold yourself, you know, um, don't be too hard on yourself, right? Accomplish what you can do or wish or write down what you think you can accomplish. But otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. Happy New Year. My next video drops next Saturday at 8 a.m. Till next time. Bye.